how to calculate capitalization rate or cap rate. It's pretty simple. Let me show you. Right? The definition of capitalization rate or cap rate is what is your ROI as if you paid 100% cash, all cash for your property. Okay, so what is the return on the all cash that you spent to buy this property? Meaning there's no loan. You wrote one check and you acquired the property. What is the return on that check that you wrote? Okay, all right. So again, uh, cap, cap rate, my definition is you return on investment as if you purchase all cash. Okay, now when you calculate cap rate, uh, you have to know what the purchase price is, which we have here. We're using the same example as prior. And you ha also have to know your net operating income. Okay? All right. So let me show you. All right. So this five-unit building, we purchased for 600000 Okay? So we have the purchase price. To figure out the NOI, I'm going to go through this quick example here. This is a quick example I'm using in the, in the series. Okay? So you have your uh, you have five units, each at $1,200. Right, and you have five of those, that's $72,000 a year. You have your 5% vacancy, you have your effective gross income, basically 72 minus 5%. Then subtract your expenses from your income. Okay, so income minus expenses equals your NOI, okay? Your net operating income. So again, income minus expenses equals your NOI, your net operating income. So now we have the purchase price, we have the net operating income, now we can do the, the calculation for the cap rate. All right, here we are. Cap rate equals annual NOI, okay, of 44,460 divided by the purchase price of 600,000. So here we go. 44,460, 600,000. It says 7.4% cap rate. Okay? Here's what that means. Again, I'll break it down even further. It means, uh, my definition again, a 7.4 cap rate means you can expect a yearly return of $44,460 on $600,000 invested. Got it? Okay, all right, so that is cap rate. It's a very important number to know, an essential number in calculation to, to know when investing in commercial real estate. So there you have it.